is the way to happiness? Someone asked me. I said, this way. <laughs> they asked me, which way? This way, walk into Rakum School and you can see only happiness bubbling from the smallest kit to the postgraduate kids. Yes, it is only happiness because they do not know what is idling. They do not know what is laziness. Morning to evening, non-stop varieties bubbling with energy. And that was happiness. Twelfth story from the Zen, flesh Zen bones written by Paul Ripps, the happy man, happy China man. Anyone walking about Chinatown in America will also statues of a stout fellow carrying a linen sack. Chinese merchants call him happy China man or laughing Buddha. This hotel lived in the Tang dynasty. He had no desire to call himself a Zen master or to gather many disciples about him. Instead, he walked the streets with a big sack into which he would put gifts of candy, fruit or donuts. These he would give to children who gathered around him in play. He established a kindergarten of the streets. Happy man with a big stomach. Not that the happy man had a big stomach. When he was always in the street, he was just a bony man. But they put a, this hotel master with a big stomach. And that hotel in our Kannada hotel is very closely related. In, in Kannada, we call it the stomach hotel only. And that might be uh, connecting with, uh, with Karnataka and the China's, Chinese Zen master, hotel master. In all the pictures, they showed him a very, very big stomach because for any questions, there is only one answer, is laughter. <laughs> and everybody thought he is just a joker. And every word laughter, you understand the answer is, go with the cup empty. <laughs> the laughter throws out all the carbon dioxide outside and brings in fresh oxygen. So they, when they're drawing, the painters draw, he has a big stomach because he's laughed with the stomach full, not half laughter, not sarcastic laughter. It was a laughter with full of happiness, which is from the lowest abdomen, the stomach filling up laughter. <laughs> Complete. Take a sweet, not a drop to be wasted. Total talent out from the body and for any question whether it's philosophy whether it's education whether it's politics anything for that matter medicine he has got only one because God is one truth is one one step leads to 10,000 he knows and he knows that is the truth what he answered Chinese merchants call him happy China man or laughing Buddha. This hotel lived in the Tang dynasty. He had no choice, decided to call himself a Zen master do or, or to gather many disciples about him. What's the use of gathering disciples? Disciples means people are in the houses. Who are you to call them to your house? Move. And every question, he carries a sack. Sack in the sense, he carries his talent, millions of cells in his Brain is bubbling with energy. Instead, walk this with a big sack into which you would put gifts of candy, fruit, or donuts. Means for anything and everything, he has got an answer. That was the donuts. He had a kindergarten because kindergarten, in the sense, he established a kindergarten in the streets. Means people are thinking he go, he gone and play with the kids. Yes, he played with the kids, but he found the elderly people are. Walking the dead people on. You cannot be childish, you can be childlike. And when you grow up, you become childish. And hence, Hote Master decided that I have to go there and make them understand that you have to be childlike. That innocence to every time empty your mind and your brain so that anything and everything comes, you can fill it up with the laughter, with happiness to share and to give and cleanse together. Share and give and cleanse together. Whenever we met a Zen devotee, he would extend his hand and say, Give me one penny. Give me one step of your happiness, your laughter. People thought he was begging for money. And if anyone asked him to return to the temple to teach others, again he would reply, Give me one penny. And again, somebody says, Why you are in the street? You are such a great master. Master Hote, greatest master. 
the greatest yani ever lived in the in that part of the century everybody knew before the question comes he could answer he could any scriptures but please come back to temple and teach and he said give me one penny if you not ask me to come to a temple did you not see me practicing on the street <laughs> going around and uh, answering the children people's questions telling the people to be happy to be innocent to be child like not childish so he asked give me when many people thought it was the money is asking he is asking for his the talent the talent has been suppressed the talent has become his thinking he wanted them to open open the fixed deposit of the talent of the happiness of the sadness so that fresh energy can flow out out into the streets once as he was about his play work and the zen must happen a long and enquired what is the significance of zen hote made of plop the sack down on the ground in silent answer he was carrying a sack means he was carrying all the happiness and when a zen master happened to meet him and asked him what is the significance of zen what is the use of answering he just dropped the sack means and when you do silence means it is stagnant significance is stagnant it stinks you are repeating and repeating and repeating but nothing is happening the society the poverty has not been brought down happiness is not there husband wife is fighting everybody is fighting politicians come in religious leaders come in beaten everybody is robbing left right front back it has become a disease <laughs> he just dropped it that was his answer what is the use of answering what is the significance of zen if you knew it you just have called yourself a zen master if you knew it why did you ask me that question instead you could apply it if you know better than me why did you come back to me go and put it into practical terms significance zen is nothing but to be happy significance now zen is nothing but to be innocent like a child not childish child like What is the significance of Zen to make sure that every day your talent, the last drop of your talent, to be removed from your body, the hardest to work, only remove the talent from your body, and you remove, and the sweat comes. You feel there is a bubbling of energy, maximum amount of energy bubbling with energy, and when that energy is coming, you know you don't have to keep that money in the bank as fixed deposit because the next day again that em that amount of money is coming. You are powerfully rich. when you become poor you go to the bank and put in fixed deposit you try to cheat people track without any culture yes there is no culture in this country then i asked the other what is the actualization of zen at once the happy chinaman swung the sack over his shoulder and continued on his way what is the actualization of zen and he took the sack back in the shoulder and he moved he said that is it flowing body is fresh but keep moving let the whole body move and so that you can give back to nature you can sweat it back at the end of the day you come relaxed with zero zero disease on your body you have skeletal muscle no excess and when you don't have excess you have everything when you have excess you have nothing that excess in the bank excess in your body excess of your studies in your brain drop it that is the way to happiness